sounds like Michael Jackson there. Music. No, that is Bruno Mars. Alright. Specifically, never gonna, or specifically, uh, Uptown Funk. Look at that, they're skiing. That's an actual lamp, too. Oh, lamp, too. I don't care. It's going on my different place. He's busy feasting himself. Exactly. He's popping up. <laughs> I wonder if you at least we challenge. Another boxing. Oh, boy. Oh, it's getting out boxing. Never mind. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This might be a fair fight. Look who it says. This might be a fair fight. Female boxer versus male martial artist. Because usually boxers destroy martial artists. Because boxing is much more brutal and much more energizing. So females usually lose to many sports. So what if a female boxer against a male martial artist? A female might actually win the lips. I said might. Yeah.
<laughs> you sure that's not the king in the driver's seat? It was a That damn drone. Behind the screen. Nice jackets. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Sound like you're gonna go dead goose. <laughs> For the last time, I don't look like no damn tow truck. <laughs> That's ironic. Mater's got at least a good two to four decades on McQueen in terms of raw age. Yep. And he acts like he's 20s. Yep. Seriously, think about it. Mater was born in. Hey, 1952. He's as old as Doc Hudson. He's been kicking around for even longer. Damn. Oh, that is a lot of powder. That is actually a lot of powder. Are those snacks up there? Damn, I want to go up. I know. <laughs> we ain't going Kool-Aid man just yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I should do that now. The Kool Aid sooner. Ever read a death metal before? <laughs> Have you? Partially. It's a YouTube web series where they take certain characters and make them fight to the death, analyzing their stats and abilities and stuff. The Kool Aid Man got on against Grant against the Macho Man Randy Savage. Kool Aid Man won actually. Damn. He made it at least seem decently close. He tried to drown him, like, <laughs> slammed him to the ground while he was in his head. Macho Man inhaled all the liquid and threw him aside. And the Kool Aid Man said, Yeah. And blew his chest up. Uh, because the Kool Aid Man can control all Kool Aid, the liquid or powder for him. So, blew his chest over. But also, fun fact the Kool Aid Man's liquids can actually bring back the dead. Oh. So after refilling himself and putting back the piece of glass that he broke, just put one drop under the macho man's tongue, brought him back to life. Mm. So literally the way they started the fight was the both of them saying, oh yeah, rapid fire. Like it was their own secret language or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> exists as both the fluid and the pitcher, so he can live as either one. So like if the pitcher's destroyed, he can just exist as the fluid. Or if the fluid's drained out of him, he can live as the pitcher. Yep. And simply, simply cool. Oh no, dyed hair. <coughs> Not exactly what you should.
I did point. I did point that out. Oh. I saw. I hope I never have to see him hurt. Moving on. Another more powder up ahead. Seven tall. Oh wow, this shit looks flush. It looks enormous. Oh, bro, I don't have talent. Oh, I'm just wondering if they're gonna fuck it like this. Eh. What's going on with the paper? <laughs> Suddenly we've got a bunch of Michael Jackson clones. Another bakery. <laughs> How many bakeries are there? Like boxing, I'm okay with, but damn, we don't need this much white powder on the roads. <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't Mexico. At least we got the library. Have you prayed to it? This mic is a corn dog. What are you even recording for? Jesus. It's pretty much an hour now. I know, but it's fucking bakery. Okay. This is pretty much part two. Right. That's 
that's why they stopped and they could have been here and go. The city of Beams coming down. Right? <laughs> Look at that, another boxing match. Someone too. <laughs> Respect. Respect to that. She looks like, oh, that is real one.